Monday morning. We ain't even risking it. We're going to put some gas in this thing real quick. I ain't trying to run out today. So now we got $40 in gas, 226 to empty, almost a full tank. I'm working at Chick fil A, give me some breakfast this morning because Chick fil A's banging in the mornings. Give me some Chick fil A. I gotta go to that Toyota. I put an alternator on, the battery light ain't on that, but it, the battery was dying the other day on the way to work. He said his headlights were getting dim and off, so I'm gonna go by and check it out. He went and bought a replacement alternator just in case. So I'm gonna check it out, see what's going on with it, because, well, no. Dude, I got uh, a little infinity. I gotta do some, put a splitter. Guy wants a splitter on his front bumper or whatnot. His grandma stopped by and asked me about it. So me and David went ahead. We dropped the car off at, we dropped the car off at Jason at New Era Upholstery here in Lincoln to get a headliner fixed in it. I went and picked up the infinity so I can do the front little valence piece. And, We've been working on the last end a little bit. I got the header off of it. The passenger side header is smashed up pretty good from the A arm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it loose from her by nozzles in a little bit and re, see if I can redo something with it. Maybe rebend it or put another piece in it or something. I'm gonna look and see what we can do about it. And uh, try getting that back up and uh, going because we gotta start preparing for dig or die with the S10. They got that little budget class and I'm gonna uh, see if we can't put the little truck in it. If we can get it ready, so. That's the goal. We got, I think, two weeks. <laughs> so we're gonna try it. So let's let's get this Chick Fil A. So I think I figured it out. So I took this, tested, tested from the ground on that one from the ground down to the positive to make sure it had power. It had power. So I got to looking, and the plug on the back of it wasn't quite locked in all the way. So I ended up pushing it all the way together. Let's get our voltmeter out and check see if we're getting voltage now. Charging up like it's supposed to. So what it was doing, it ended up. And right now it's charging the battery because the battery's dead. I had to jump it off with the Jeep over there to get it drunk. But yeah, we're charging, looking good. That's all it was. Simple fix. This ten headers took a beating. We're gonna see if we can't fix that little section right there for now. While I order the other headers and get them on the way. Installed this little front splitter today for a guy. Got it all installed. Got his horn figured out. The horn up in there was uh, unplugged, so got that done. Not too bad. Well, I ain't a good morning to be a mobile mechanic. Something I can tell you. So it's Tuesday morning. Woke up, it's raining. I got stuff still laid outside because it ain't been really cold. So my backyard's kind of look like a freaking junkyard because I got a bag of cement, I got shovels, I got all kind of crap just laid everywhere. You know what I mean? Like I got stuff that is all over the freaking place. I come outside and there's just everything soaking wet. My welder from working on the Mustangs laid outside. I'm like, here we go. So. S10 still in the yard. I left it in the backyard last night because I was like, man, it looks good. I'm going to leave it out there in the backyard or whatever. So when I get back, I done put up a lot of stuff. So when I get back, I'm going to go through and put the S10 back under the carport and uh, start finish cleaning up everything out there. I cleaned up a lot just now. I moved the go-kart because it was still out in the weather. So I had to move it and cover it up with plastic and all that stuff. And I was like, man, it's just my luck I'd wake up to that. But is what it is i only got one job to do today i kind of scheduled i didn't know it was gonna rain but with the holidays coming the only thing i got scheduled i got to weld up a frame on a dodge truck it's cracked on the steering box so i'm gonna weld it up and build it all in and then i'm gonna run over by nigels and get a piece of plate that i can weld to it to strengthen it so right now i'm on my way to chick fil -A again this morning i want some more chick fil -A. so i'm gonna roll up here and get something to eat one o'clock, I'm gonna go out here and weld this stuff up. I need to weld up on this truck. Other than that, I'm done for the day. 
not even I, I won't piddle with the S10 for a little bit I'm gonna start cleaning up some of the wiring and stuff on it I'd really like to get me a uh, aftermarket I'd really like to get me a terminator system to put on it but I'd like to get me an aftermarket uh, harness and just clean up the wiring on it because that truck was a throw together truck I just kind of I've used it I've abused it over the years I throw you know I mean like it's been just a throw together truck I need to put some bigger exhaust on it I need to retune it. I need to clean the nitrous up on it. The, the nitrous kit, I need to rewire it and put a plate kit on it instead of that little nozzle. But I want to get ready for dig or die. But like I said, I just, there's a lot on that little truck. It's a good looking little truck. But there's a lot that I need to straighten out on it to make me happy. You know what I mean? To make it. I mean, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to press nobody. I'm not trying to build a show truck or nothing like that. But there's some things I can, I can do better. That I didn't do because I was just in a rush and just wanted a truck I could drive around and use it for a daily, you know? So it's, it served its purpose. Now it's time to do some better stuff with it. Let's get here to Chick fil A real quick. I'd say it's pretty light if I can take two jacks and just move it as easy as I can. I'm gonna clean off this spot, move it over to here, and start getting stuff ready for Thanksgiving. We're in an eyesore. Over here, Nigel's gotta go through and uh, Open these holes up to half inch. A little too small in these four. On this one, I gotta trim be a spacer down for both sides because the actual torque box on the car is narrower than this. So I've done cut the other one, the inside sleeve piece down. So I just gotta split the sleeve and figure out what my distance is there. I gotta cut these ends off and then put the hinds on the end of it. And then I just cut that bracket off right there, do it just like I done on my other car. Got the uppers all drilled. And I'm cutting the perches off the lower control arms. Yeah, cut the end off. Make the right length. Shorten that side up, shorten the back side up, I'll be good to go. This ain't gonna work. So I'm about to order some larger. Our side's ready, just gonna fix this side. Ooh, that's fucked up. I gave you something you wouldn't even give me half of. On this Cummins, going through and straighten out this crack in the frame here. <laughs> Dodge owners. <laughs> Got it welded up for today. Got that took care of. Talking to get him some bolts, get it aligned because he had the lineman off and that's what broke the frame out or whatever from turning left to right. So I said, you know, you're gonna get your alignment done on it and all that. Charged it $50 just to weld it up, whatnot, because it, it didn't take long. I just had to beat the piece over, weld it up. It's getting cold outside, so I'm going home, probably play some Xbox the rest of the day. Clean up a little bit around the house and just hang out with Nick and get off. Maybe go get some deep tonight. Y'all tomorrow. So I come over to Nigel's. S10's always had this stupid radiator hose that's always had to come across that's been built. <clears throat> that hooks up like right here. <clears throat> I've always hated it. So I'm gonna come in here today, cut this out just a little bit around through here, get me where I can slide a piece of metal in here, get Jake the welder around. I'm gonna cut this one off. I'm gonna move it over to here, and that way I can just run my radiator hose straight into it, straight into the bottom. I won't have to have that long hose on there. So right now I'm cutting through the cooler because we'll probably have to weld those up anyways. So uh, I'll go through and just splice right all the way through it where I can just slide a piece of metal all the way to the side just as a divider. And that way it'll actually, instead of having this distance here, filling it up and you know, whichever water goes the least resistance. So if I'm here, 
if there's a port, it's gonna flow more on this side or it's gonna flow more somewhere else. Well, with this right here, it's gonna take it down. So it's actually lengthening out the water flow. Cause if you got one of these veins or a couple of these veins that don't flow as good as the other, water don't even really go through it that much. Where doing it like this, it'll make it push it through it, push it back. So basically it'll, this right here is the cool side. Where the hot side will come in here, it'll actually come over right here. It'll travel down, it'll trickle down, it'll come back and come back to here. So I think it'll work really good. It'll look a lot better. So let's get it done. Let's start getting it uh, finished cut open real quick. Find a piece of scrap. Maybe something a little thicker. Probably not wide enough. We're gonna try it. See. So, probably be able to get a piece out of here. Let's just go see how much I need. So now I'm gonna go through. I gotta go a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off a little longer. And I'm gonna notch it down to where I can sleeve it in because it has to come all the way over here to this edge to block it off completely. <clears throat> Not where this weld is, but I don't wanna get all the way over there to have Jake weld it or to weld it down there. So I'm gonna go through and uh, measure that distance, mark it, and then that's the distance I'm gonna make. You'll see. Got me a divider, got it notched on both sides. Just gonna slide it up and I can knock it up in there. Check it out, Jake done some killer job on welding it up. Here we go. So now I just gotta go build me a hose for this side right here, and I'll be ready to rock and roll with it. We blocked those off because the cooler was here. But I never had that transmission cooler, which you can still see it on that one. I was able to cut it out up here and just get all the debris out of it. But like I said, now the hot will come in here, it'll circulate all the way here and come all the way down. So ideally, even though when it was on that side, you have more volume up moving at one time. This right here will make double passes, so it'll actually help keep it cooler because even though it's a smaller diameter or smaller area, it's gotta come across here, run across the fan to get cold, run down, and then the, it'll come across here and get cold again and run back across. Instead of it all just making one slow, short pass, now we're lengthening it around. So, being like this would be like having four four fans and one long, long, long radiator is what it is. Because if you split that fan in half, you can just picture it would be like having one long strip of it to just run across to stay cool instead of it just doing one short flow in and out for speed. This will It'll still travel the same speed. It'll actually travel a little bit faster being that there's smaller volume here or smaller surface area, but it'll, it'll do two passes, so it'll help keep it cooler. I think it'll work really, really good. It'll look a lot better without that old trashy looking thing up in there. Just a simple hose here to there. A little simple little piece I'll put in there. Got to finish wiring my fans back up now, but that's gonna look a lot better. A little better. Not too bad. Like I said, don't have that stupid hose over here. It opens up some room here for a filter. I'm gonna clean up my wire on my nitrous kit because I got all this stuff still loose. I was redoing it, so I'm gonna fix all that here real real soon well actually here in just a minute i'm gonna work on that 
and I'm gonna work on this right here. I cut this out a long time ago and just packed it up. I finish wiring my fans up. I'm gonna do something different with this to make this look a little bit better right here. That whole little area, I'll probably box it in. I'll probably just cut it right here and box it in and box it across the front. But for now, like I said, that looks a lot better. They might need your assistance down here or something. They got a RV that looks like stuck. The Jeep wouldn't do nothing but spin, wouldn't do nothing with it. But we had a a Chevrolet Duramax. We was able to go through and uh, hook to it and put it in reverse and a couple good yanks and got the man. I said, he's about to have a heart attack. He said, man, he said, I turned around and uh, he said, I was freaking, uh, he said, I couldn't get this thing moved. He said, I, I don't care what you're breaking. He said, I just need to get it out of the road right here. He said, I just got out of the hospital yesterday or whatever. I said, man, calm down. We'll get you unhooked. We'll get you unstuck. Don't, don't worry about it. We'll get you out of here. So that's what, uh, that's what we did.